It's Melissa. Um, so I thought we would have a little bit of fun with makeup today because it is Halloween, Salon week, and um, and I was realizing that it has actually been, um, yeah, it has been 10 months since Plight of Stars has had a show, which means that it's been 10 months since I've done this kind of makeup. And so this is gonna be hilarious and it's probably gonna be a huge disaster. Anyway, I thought we would maybe do the Krampus uh, makeup today, the Krampus Fest makeup. Um, so, which is kind of like a demon sort of thing. I've put in hair. Now my hair color right now is in this awful in-between stage because I was using this nasty stuff called Overtone. Don't ever use it unless you want your hair to be permanently stained and not bleachable. Yeah, so that's been fun. Um, so anyway, I just kind of threw in a bunch of different colors of hair <laughs> that I've had over the years um, because my crown actually already has blonde attached to it. So um, anyway, so this <laughs> speaking of a mess, this is gonna be a mess. Now, as you see, I already have eye makeup on because I already did my makeup for the day. Um, but <laughs> with doing this kind of makeup, it really doesn't matter at all um, what you have underneath. So I'm sure all the beauty people and influencers would say, that's full, but whatever. This is for stage. This is meant to be seen from far away and under stage lights. I'm just putting on some cheap kind of whiter color skin, whiter skin color uh, foundation on just to kind of give a good sort of clean, solid base. <laughs> so um, anyway, and then usually I'll bring it down to my chin, but we're not gonna do that today. Um, cool, so I have a couple of different things that I use um, for the black part. So I usually use the Marin stuff because it's a stage makeup, and which means that it's not going to fall off your face and it's gonna look good from a distance because it's high pigment. Um, and then I have kind of this little, it's called um, color tattoo, and it's just this powder that I'll just kind of put all, all over on. Um, and that kind of helps with the lines to give it a little bit more of a cohesive look. So, um, so one of them is a, um, a, a grease paint, and the other one is like a, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's a powder thing that you have to add water to. So, um, and I apologize if I look up because it's just a little bit easier to kind of look there. So, um, so like I said, I've ha I have my lashes on already. Um, I have kind of a darker thing and I'm just gonna like literally start about here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of carry it up, right? And do some kind of big dark lines first, right? So um, in this case, I kind of did sort of a, See, I told you this would be fun. I'm glad you guys are all tuning in to see this mess happening. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what I kind of did with that one is I like literally had a lot of little spikies that went up. And then, and you know, it's always really funny. I get backstage and I am working with the guys and I usually kind of do their makeup first because they refuse to do their own makeup. at you will. Will always fights me. He was actually the one that was like really not happy about <laughs> doing makeup at first. Um, Tim was like on board. Aaron was on board after the second show. And then Frodo, well he used to wear makeup in his band so he didn't have an excuse. Nope. And of course, you know, we have Neil now. And Neil is so theatrical of a person that it just really sort of yeah, he's game for everything. So now I kind of have that base. I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna splotch on <laughs> the black makeup. And you know, <clears throat> what I'll kind of end up doing is sort of touching this up after, because as you see, it kind of ends up all over your face, um, which actually can look kind of cool and kind of, you know, kind of uh, fitting, I guess. Um, the other thing, I think when I did the Krampus makeup, I didn't use powder as much because I had more of a kind of solid line there. The very first time I did similar makeup, I actually had a wonderful makeup artist do it for me for the, um, for the Wicked Arts Festival, and that's Alex Fench... I Fench... I can't even say the last name. But she's amazing, and she does... Um, she does... Uh, 
really wicked, really cool makeup. Right now she's working on um, the Haunted Hayride makeup and I'm absolutely loving the videos that she's been posting. So check her out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just getting the waterline there and just kind of making that a little bit deeper. Right, because then that kind of makes the eyes pop. And I'm also doing this video early. I'm going to be posting it later this week, but early because I am getting LASIK surgery done on Friday. So, um, so I'll, I'm sure I'll post a picture of my bloodshot eyes. <laughs> and it really sucks because Halloween is like my time of year. This is the year that I that I have. It's just the time of year that I have the most fun. It's something I've celebrated for forever. I mean, for obviously religious purposes, but. Um, but I just think it's the best holiday because it's so much fun. It's, it's about the kids. Um, it, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with, with Halloween, right? So I'm just going back on and putting the white back on because I have made a, a right mess, as you can probably see. And this does look really bad. I would, <laughs> I think, Normally I would go in and do a little bit of a less sloppy job, but because I'm sort of rushing because I don't want this video to be so ridiculously long. Um, yeah, see, I'm making a huge mess. I'm glad you're here for this. I'm really, really glad you're here for this. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, and then what I'll do is I'll take like the one of the grease paint or the water the watery stuff. The watery stuff doesn't work so good for stage because it does melt off your face um, when you're kind of sweating. As it melts. It doesn't melt off your face too bad, but enough that you know it was sort of making us all a little crazy. And so we switched to the grease paint, and that does stay on a little bit better. Yeah. So and as I was saying, what is really sad is, you know, we haven't done a show in 10 months. Um, at the time that COVID hit, we had, I don't know, like four or five concerts waiting in the wings that we were ready to do. We, uh, we had just gotten our new bassist. We were so looking forward to hitting the stage with him because he's a beast. Um, and then we weren't able to do any of it. Um, and I think that's what makes me the most sad is that y'all aren't able to meet, um, to meet, uh, our buddy Neil. I mean, so many of you locally know him, but those of you who are not local might not know him, might, um, but he is, like, amazing. And I can't wait until we hit, until we hit our new, next album and when, when we get that out, um, which, you know, we're kind of looking at, you know, early part of of uh, 2021. I don't know if Will will be thrilled that I'm announcing that, but yeah, here we are. Um, and it's good to look forward to something, right? Um, as I mentioned in the earlier video, we are pretty much on our way. We have a couple of songs that we've done. Um, uh, yeah, that we're kind of working through. We're also going to do something in between then, so watch for that, because um, that'll probably hit sooner than a full album. But yes, a full album is on the way. And then what you want to do is just kind of create sort of a lower level, kind of looks like grass growing off of your, like black grass growing off your eyebrows. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> And then we're just gonna throw on the prompus part, because you know they are a demon, and I like to kind of take that up. I've already obviously put hair on here because it was just easier to have it pre-assembled for that concert, and then kind of stapling it in in my head. Oh, lips! I forgot that part. So, okay, so this is something that I learned from a video, and I thought it was really pretty cool. So what you do is you first put on your red, because Christmas, uh, this is the part that the guys don't get to do. So I don't know, maybe we could do that next time. Put in the comments if you want lipstick on the guys next time, next time we do a concert. So then what you do is you just kind of take the black 
And I have like a liquid eyeliner here. For like a minute. Right, so you kind of get that. So you can do that with liquid liner, you can do it with like regular liner if you don't want to mess up your liquid liner. Uh, I don't think it works as well with that. I'm gonna do that, otherwise I'm gonna put that on my eyeliner today. So yeah, so that's basically it. And then from here you can do whatever you want. Maybe you wanna do, um, you know, maybe you wanna do like a teardrop or something to just kind of give a little bit more interest to the bottom, right? You might want to go with lines, you know, that look like scars. I think that um, Kuna coil has been doing that lately, I think. That's kind of cool. So, you know, whatever you want to do, you just kind of throw it on there, and then voila! <laughs> You're really evil and spooky looking. Top that off with this cool coat, and, um, you know, you're ready for some demon fun. So anyway, that's basically how you can do kind of some very easy, cool makeup for Halloween, for Samhain, for, um, I don't know, going out on a random Friday, uh, whatever floats your boat. So, um, or just sitting at home drinking wine. <laughs> I would love it if you guys could post your pictures of trying out this makeup. Um, in the comments. Uh, if you do, maybe we'll send you a little gift. So, all right? Okay. Bye, everybody.